What's going on? Ryan Troy back with another video for you today. And in this video, I want to go over something that a lot of people seem to struggle with, and that is making a white backdrop pure white. But also, I want to go over the things that we run into when shooting on a black backdrop, where as you can see in this photo, you can tell a lot of light hit that backdrop. So it doesn't look as pure black as we probably would want it to. Now, Lightroom makes this extremely easy. First, let's start off with the white one, because I'm pretty sure that's probably what you clicked on. Now, first, what we're going to do is we're going to come on over here to where it says masking. OK, so we click this and we want to select the background tool. OK, now Lightroom will do its own thing. It would detect everything and it will find the background. Now, if you have your preset set to where it's like on nothing, you will see this little red outline so you can see exactly what it's highlighting. But as soon as you start to make changes, like I'm just going to push the exposure up. As soon as you do that, then it will go away. And once it's zero, it's like that. Now, here's one of the biggest things that a lot of people don't realize. OK, so let's let's try to hide the mask right quick. You hide the mask by pressing um, O, the letter O. All right. So you may not even be able to tell, especially because this is on a gray backdrop, that this isn't even pure white. Like you can run into issues where um, your light kind of gives off a different color. So what I always like to do, and I'm going to go back with the mask, I like to bring my saturation down. So look, I'm going to bring it up. When I bring it all the way up, you see how you can see that blue? And that could come from lights and all type of other things. So that's going to automatically stop you from getting a pure white backdrop. So what I like to do is I like to take it down. And you don't have to take it all the way down. I like to take it down just a little bit. OK, so after that, I, I kind of push my exposure up like this. All right. I like to push my shadows up and I'm going to pull them down just so you can see. So this is up and this is down. You can kind of see in that corner exactly where it affects. But go ahead on and you push it up a little bit but my other thing is highlights okay so highlights is really going to get you in there right so you push your highlights up and and i'm going to show you what we what we went from so we went from something that looked like this to something that looked like this right and the thing about it is this is all up to you now you can actually choose to push your exposure all the way up to where it's like really really pure white but to me this doesn't look the best. I like some natural elements to it. And, and as you can see, if you push it down, you can get more of a gray background, right? Especially since we took that saturation down. See, I left the, I put the saturation back and it brought some more blues into it. So I'm gonna pull it down, give us more of a gray background. Now that's, that's just a hidden gem right there. So we're going to go back to something about like this right here. Now let's go into the black. I, I want to go into the black because I used to hate shooting on black because because I never was able to get what I wanted until Lightroom implemented this feature. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come on over here to masking. We're going to go ahead on and choose background and we're going to let it detect once again. And it's going to select all of this area right here. OK. Now, once it does that, we don't even have to really adjust saturation because it's black. You can do it if you want to. But I bring my exposure down, right? And also, oh, man, I'm so happy I got to show, got to see this. Look, it didn't even recognize this part of her leg. So I'm going to show you how we get rid of that. So I'm going to go ahead on. I'm going to bring it down about right there. That already looks so much better. But we could bring exposure up just to bring our shadows down a little bit. And then we can also probably because remember, the highlights is going to be where the flash hits it. So if I go up, you kind of see that gradient. But if I go down, it gets rid of it. Now, let's get rid of this little area right here that it thought was the background. Right. So what we want to do is we want to come to subtract from mask right here and then click brush. OK. Now, what that does is it let us just brush this away. And all it's saying is, OK, this is right here, you know not to be put in with the mask. And the best thing about it is if it miss anything, you can you can use that. Now, real quick, real simple. That would be how I will go from something that look like this. Um, and actually, this don't have any edits, but 
just pay attention to the background. Go from something that looks like this to something that looks like this, right? And then we'll jump on over to the white and something that looks like this, you know, with that little bluish stuff on the left side to something that looks like this. So hopefully you learned something real quick. If so, go ahead and leave a comment. Please subscribe. Please like, you know, especially if you want more videos like this. Um, so until the next time, peace.